Now, although I'm not a huge fan of this guy in real life, I, I hate on his team. I don't like him at all. I just can't go past how good this card is. And that is... What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. We're going to be checking out the five starter cards that you guys have the choice of choosing in the beginning of NBA 2K22, my team. There are the five cards to pick from. There's a Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Zion, and a Nikola Jokic. There's the five cards, and I'll be going over negatives and positives for each of these cards, and which one I'll personally be picking, and which one I think you guys should choose as well. Starting off with the New York killer himself, Trey Young, I have two positives and two negatives for each of the players so I'll be going through them and some of them might tie together you might be able to uh, might be able to realize that but starting off with Trey Young in terms of positive I think I mean obviously great shooting badges and great shooting stats straight off the bat if you're a shooter if you can ISO if you can dribble in across two K's Trey Young would be a card that you would enjoy you'd be 6-1 he'll be agile and once again those shooting badges and shooting stats will be in this Trey Young card and you won't be able to get them in a lot of other cards especially a free straight off the bat card so that's something that you might consider in terms of the negative six foot one at the point guard position he is pretty small it'll be a huge issue for him and his defense won't be there either perimeter defense and interior defense for an 80 overall emerald it just won't be there for Trae Young. Now in regards to Donovan Mitchell 80 overall emerald Donovan Mitchell in terms of positive his slashing ability will be vital in week one of my team. Now if, whether you're a, a, a veteran player we've all had those 2k day ones where no one can shoot at all. Current gen of 2k21 no one can shoot at all so to kind of avoid that whole path choosing a Donovan Mitchell card straight off the bat who he can rim run he can slam at home he can jam it and we know that he's going to get a lot of good animations even for an 80 overall emerald that might be something that you can consider if you are looking at a shooting guard position now with that being six foot one a lot of people forget that Donovan Mitchell is six foot one he is quite small for a locked in he is locked in at the shooting guard position all right so that's a big thing to consider and he's probably not going to be as good as a shooter as an emerald his jump shot's not too bad it's going to be a slower jump shot but it's also not going to be the highest rated you got to think about it they got to they got to even out these attributes to make it an 80 overall and i don't think donovan's going to be that good of a shooter coming into the man at the three position mr jason tatum a 6-8 small forward at the beginning of the game that's a very very good beginning uh card to have whether it's an emerald sapphire whatever it is at six foot eight at the small forward position is very good he can finish inside very well he's an all-around good defender he can defend the perimeter quite well even though he's 6'8", I still feel like he'll be uh, like he'll still be agile enough to be able to move around the perimeter quite well. And interior-wise, six foot eight, he'll be able to get his hands up and defend quite well in there. Uh, now, in terms of negatives, oh, it will be slower. I feel like this Jason Tatum, if he had to be negative, like negated somewhere across his attributes, it would be in his agility. I feel like I feel like his speed will be quite slower compared to a lot of other emeralds potentially. And being at six eight and the weight that he is, he will be slower than a lot of other smaller small forwards. Um, and obviously, badges will make or break this card if we can get a Jason Tatum with a quick first step if we can get a Jason Tatum with downhill day one even though it's an emerald that is absolutely vital that is something very very nice to have and it will only go up by the amount of evos that you get and once again if you guys don't know if you evo all five of these cards you do get that Phil Jackson so these evos will come in handy not only to boost your players but to help you in the long run now I come from my boy Zion at the power forward position now the expectation for this card although it is an emerald he will be as athletic and as fast as an emerald can be most likely for Zion he'll have downhill which is very good and quick first step which is very very nice to have on an emerald day one um, and compared look we're not going to have everyone dunking over everyone we're not going to be able to have, defend all five positions day one but a Zion at the four he is six seven and limited the powerful positions to something that you can consider as a negative uh, six foot seven we've already had Jason Tatum who is taller at the small four position um, and just make sure these are locked into one position only but his jump shot is usually quite smooth it will be slower all the jump shots will be slower it'll be a big learning curve for a lot of people that are used to these god squads in 2k21 but his jump shot is typically quite smooth in nba 2k21 so hopefully that carries across the 22 now the 284 pounds that he is uh no no hate to the guy uh but the 284 pounds he might be a bit slow and it once again like jason tatum it'll be very dependent on his badges once again the quick first step the uh the down 
downhill badges, those will really make or break this card. Same with that Jason Tatum, will really make or break these cards. And really with all ba with all cards, inevitably, the, the, the badges do really make or break them. But I think he will be too slow for the power forward position. And, but yeah, it, it, take into account the downhill, he might be too f slow on the fast break. And if he doesn't have quick first step, I don't reckon he'll get around anyone this year. Now onto the final person, uh, Mr. Nikola Jokic at the center position, the MVP of the past season. And, and to be honest, that MVP kind of got swept under the rug. We don't really talk about Nikola Jokic winning MVP as much as I think we should. But anyway, uh, the positives for Nikola Jokic, day one and Emerald, good all around player. Um, now that's why he's won an MVP. He can pass the ball, he can dribble. He can, well, not dribble as well, but he can he can dribble if need be. He can defend, he can shoot, he can finish inside. He can He's very good in the post. And all that in an Emerald day one, that is quite something that is very, very nice. Um, I will be honest, he is not my first choice, but he moves very close to being my second choice. The only thing that worries me about this Nikola Jokic, and the one of the main reasons why I didn't pick him, he's going to get outrun by a lot of centers. You think about even 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 taller centers, even like 7-1 James Wiseman, no matter what his rating is, obviously we know gold is the lowest this year, so if they give an emerald or even a sapphire, I don't think they'll give a sapphire to James Wiseman, but you got to think about this. There is going to be a lot of centers in the NBA that are going to outrun Nikola Jokic, and getting back on a fast break, if you think the opponent's center is going to beat your like day one center back on the fast break, it's not going to be a good thing for you. So that is something that kind of diverted me from choosing him quite a bit. And the wingspan. The wingspan of Nikola Jokic will affect his rebounding and interior defense. That is a big thing for me as well. He'll get out rebounded. He's not going to jump as high. Day one and Emerald isn't going to jump as high as a lot of other cards that are more athletic. And we know that Jokic is the most, athle most athletic guy in the NBA. So overall, I will go into uh, who I choose in a second. But Nikola Jokic, probably my second option out of all five cards. Now, although I'm not a huge fan of this guy in real life, I, I hate on his team. I don't like him at all. I just can't go past how good this card is. And that is Mr. Jason Tatum. I think he is probably the best out of all five of these cards. Arguably, I, I don't think you can make a case for any of the others. He's six foot eight at the small four position. He can finish inside. He will be able to shoot, at least from the mid-range. He can defend pretty much one to four. I'd say the five's a bit of a rough area there. But I, like defense, offense, he's going to be a great card. And this isn't like a make or break decision. But you can shoot who you want. If you like Trey Young, you want to dribble. As I said, there's positives to all these cards. If you want to dribble Trey Young, tr get Trey Young, shoot, dominate people online with Trey Young. Donovan Mitchell, drive towards the rim, get out on the fast break, do that. Zion, dunk over on, and Jokic, an all-round good player. But for me, Jason Tatum just fills more areas. He's just able to do a lot more well than a lot of the other, a lot of these other players, to be honest. And that's just my personal opinion, guys. At the end of the day, you are the one making the decision. If you want to join me for my first NBA 2K22 stream, I'll be streaming at day one on OP as soon as the game releases, sort of midnight on this Thursday, pretty much. So as soon as the game comes out in Australia, I'll be playing it. So if you guys want to come across my Twitch channel, it's linked down below. And uh, also, if you want a free copy of NBA 2K22, head across to my Twitter. The link is in the description for the uh, to the actual tweet itself, I'm giving away a free copy of NBA 2K22, which will be also announced, the winner will be announced on that live stream. Guys, we are very, very close to 22,000 subs. I can't believe I'm saying that. 22,000 subs on this channel. All the love and support is very, very much appreciated. I love you guys so much and have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.